this is Blogovision. Today I'm here not alone but with my great friend Isaac and we are going to discuss uh, the song by Viktor Kron of Estonia who is actually mm -hmm. representing our country. Yeah, we are here from Tallinn by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, at Eurovision 2019. Uh, what do we know by now about Viktor Kron that we would like to share with our readers? Well, we know that he's, well, and yours. Uh, he's not Estonian, he's actually he's Swedish. Act yeah, he's actually Swedish. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Which his nationality but like he was born in Sweden for sure uh, yeah right? he's a Swedish uh, singer mm -hmm. and guitarist but came to compete in an Estonian competition mm -hmm. because apparently Estonians also support <laughs> Swedish uh, music market I mean if you, ch if you check <laughs> the last years usually like the um, Estonians giving a lot of points to, to mm. Sweden almost always like yeah. uh, the jury and the televisors mm. I think overall uh, Estonia has a big support of everything, also music-wise that comes, uh, mm. like Spotify and all of the other uh, yeah, services absolutely. that come from Sweden, and uh, they basically just know that, like, the, it's almost like a yeah, preconception that no bad music can come from Sweden. You know? <laughs> there is there is kind of this preconception, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. But yeah, like in terms. There is of a lot of music in Sweden, so I mean, yeah. like probably we don't hear the butch, like the yeah. bad music, right? But like we always have the chance to hear many of that music, and then there is so many people like uh, working in Sweden, like creating songs and uh, for other artists uh, in many parts of the world, and right? not even having platform to like show themselves because I think in Sweden the competition is really really tough. For yes, these it is. Artists. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I don't know, maybe it was his idea, like competing so. in Esti Laud would be easier than competing I mean, in... Yeah, in imagine the, Swedish, the world of uh, this uh, pre, pre, previous Eurovision <laughs> yeah. contestants from Sweden, they were all so strong and like uh, yes. really uh, strong performances, so maybe this was a smaller, uh, easier arena mm -hmm. for him to perform. Let's go check it out and yeah, let's comment check on it the out, video. Yeah. It's the first time I'm gonna watch it, so I'm excited! <laughs> Yeah, well, he looks very Swedish. Even how they begin with the camera work, it's already very Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Not Everything is very Swedish. I mean, I don't know which is, if he has a label or something like that, but maybe he's in Universal Music or... If he hasn't had a contract yet, he's done it very soon. Yeah. yeah. It's, this part I like, it, it, this part is very No, catchy, no, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it is nice. No, I mean, the song is very nice. Now, the chorus isn't really, well, I haven't heard it much, but from... There is something in his face that reminds me to the guy from Sweden last year. Yeah, same for me, yeah. same for me. I, I think he will not have the same luck like the other guy, like... Mm. He basically didn't get any vote from the <laughs> televoters, right, last year. <laughs> Even though the jurors were all for him. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then again, I think it's also the jurors preconception that Sweden must do something good. You also have to understand that the juries like have so much connection also with uh, Sweden itself yeah. and the music industry yeah. of Sweden. So already the machine propaganda kind of not propaganda but like there is this machine the, On the that yeah that already helps you push in those uh, artists, right? To the rest of the, uh, Europe yeah. and the world. Um, I hope he's not gonna do what he just did because it was just a bit too much and mm -hmm. uh, it's something that the viewers wouldn't really enjoy. It's like, yay, yeah, clap for me, clap for me, do it, do it, die, die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I like the camera work, you know, I hope it's the same yes. kind of camera work at the um, uh, final. Much, much better, yeah. yeah. And everybody mentioned that this girl was unnecessary. But also, let's see what is going. Yeah, that this girl, the girl is totally space, unnecessary. Yeah. Like, and also she saw her like in like, the video, and it was like, yeah, she's there like for one second, and then she leaves. Yeah. But let's see what's happening because the problem of like in Esti Laul, uh, uh, they always like uh, the labels can create uh, the performance and so on, and then in Estonian television, uh, the one who does it in Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And then it's when I think it lose a little bit of quality, sorry for saying that, but I mean like I'm just thinking about Yuri Postman, for sure. example, two years ago sure. or three. But that is graphics, how, how did they make this one? Like, it's the part of the national performance, know. how did they make this look like it's uh, I also was music like, video? I have no uh, idea, maybe they are connecting... Maybe they are connecting like two, two videos. Anyway, somebody was saying that he was doing playback. 
Whoa. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't feel like very exhausted. It uh, no, no, definitely not. But you can never. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, he said thank you in Estonian with a with very a weird accent. accent. Yeah, yeah. That's like. Uh, Come well, on, even here in Spain, yeah. well, like, I can do it better. <laughs> we forgot to say that the sack is from uh, yeah, Barcelona, from actually. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, from Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> Um, whoa. Yeah. Mm, there is something that... That's no, the song is very nice. The song it's is catchy, it's, it's, it's fine, cool, but it's, it's also very Swedish. Mm. It's really like this kind of song that you are on, the, on, the, on, the, on your car listening yeah. to your radio and you are enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I see it like as a you know, good, good ride kind of song mm -hmm. uh, when you're in your car or something. At the same time, I feel it is like a cliche Euro pop, you know? Yes, uh, well, I mean, Tanya, but it's this Eurovision, is very it's all, all, all like, about cliche. Something has to, like, for me, the dilemma is that, so for now, I see the cliche Euro pop and uh, kind of cliche uh, thunder and lightning, it's getting exciting. <laughs> yeah. um, but this was sort of already used I before. mean, let's let discuss, like, what, what, what it makes to win Eurovision. Yes. One, or you have a very cliche Eurovision song. So, for now, yeah, I have this dilemma because he himself looks cliche too. So I've got the we've got the cliche Euro pop song and the cliche guy. Yeah. And that. Then that, the other two options of winning Eurovision is like, or you have like a political agenda behind, mm -hmm. like very not strong chance, one, no. like not mm -hmm. this case. And the third is like if you really bring something genuine, mm -hmm. like very surprising this year. I hate you know, to, like, but this to. doesn't happen like that often. Mm. Like, we see it with Salvador Sobral, with Portugal, with uh, this group from Finland, like some yeah. years ago. I don't, what, what Somehow was Estonia has been missing this action element in their performances. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's always somewhat aesthetic. Like, starting from uh, the um, uh, Yuri Potsman who didn't move mm -hmm. and then go into last year's Elena Nechaeva. I mean, they were all static. There was no movement around the stage whatsoever. Yeah, and even before Yuri Potsman, yeah. it was like um, the stick. Uh, mm. How was it? The, the, yeah, right. The, the couple, like, they were yeah. performing. We just forget their Stigasta? names. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and Elena Born, right? Yeah. yeah. And then both of them also, like, were looking at each other, singing with each yeah. other, but anyway, like, were very static. Like, yeah. I don't remember. Maybe I they just play any safe. Action. They play yeah. just safe. I don't remember any action, like. Even the. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that good in many years ago, he was still standing with the microphone and just singing. I mean, mm -hmm. like Estonia bringing something action like to Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cold now, it's February, it has been minus, like... <laughs> I mean, this guy himself hasn't moved that much either, because the camera was moving all around him, mm -hmm. but he himself mm -hmm. was pretty static too. Well, that's... Okay, something yeah. has to change. Either there has to be, like, really something in the I think this song can go through the final. Yeah, I believe it will. It yes. will. It will. He's a sweetheart, obviously. Yes. And, mm. uh, I just and probably they, they, yeah. they can do very well. I'm they, sure yeah. I'm sure they could be on top of the ten. I mean I haven't seen you all would say of them. Mm. Why not? I mean Sonia the last years has been not Yuri Postman but like the rest of okay. them they have been like on the top uh, ten most mm. probably or top fifteen for sure. I would say somewhere around fifteenth plus minus five yeah, yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like but this. I do not see it in the top top uh, for sure mm -hmm. because it's a bit too too cliche for now. <laughs> I we'll mean, see, we'll see because like I don't know. Last year, I I believe last year there were like a lot of songs that are very competitive, mm -hmm. and other years that uh, the variety of songs were more boring. Let's so wait for Sweden see, like, Sweden brings this year. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> How about an Estonian singer? <laughs> <He's>, yeah, <laughs> that would be funny actually. <laughs> But no, um, I, I think he'll have a lot of support already because he's gonna have Sweden, Sweden voting for him, all Scandinavia, I bet. Oh, voting yes. For him. That's um, the question. Like, yeah. can Sweden vote for a Swedish guy? <laughs> <laughs> they can. <laughs> and since it's Sweden, I guess Finland is gonna vote much yes. as well. Because uh, Swedish artists still have some hype around mm -hmm, in Finland. Mm -hmm. We don't know if he was popular in Sweden. We don't. But um, who knows? Let's see. I bet a lot of countries are gonna vote for him being a cute and, you know, cutie patootie guy. Um, for now, just there is a bit too much sugar for me, you know? <laughs> this was our reaction. Share your comments yeah. below and let us know what you think. Do you think it represents Estonia or do you think we are sending a typical uh, Swedish singer who would be more associated with Sweden rather than mm -hmm. uh, Estonia? Or does it even matter to you which country he represents as long as he plays nicely? And yeah, good music like... <laughs> and a nice smile is always the, yes. uh, nice smile at the, end. the perfect, <laughs> the perfect formula. Perfect formula. <laughs> yes. Bye. Yeah.